you've gone out, you've purchased a nice uh, large touchscreen for your computer running a Linux operating system. You get home and then you freak out because when you touch the screen, uh, it's detecting that you're touching it somewhere else. So we're here today to do something about that. Um, I've had this screen for three plus years and for the last one and a half years or so, I've actually not been using the touch uh, features. So I'm looking at rebooting an old um, project of mine, which is going to require the touch screen. It's actually the primary reason I purchased the screen for, but also I've decided that um, uh, it could come in handy for doing sketches, uh, save my paper and actually do sketches during a screencast on YouTube. Yeah, so we'll try and get that up and running. All right, so I've just uh, pulled up my display configuration here so that we can uh, take a look at our monitors. Now this one here on the right is the touch screen. It's a Dell. Uh, 1920 by 1080 is the resolution and this one on the left is my um, Samsung screen uh, that is not a touch screen um, yeah funny story um, my Samsung 4k monitor I purchased it uh, be some four years ago now and yeah fantastic brought it home, hooked it up, and suddenly had all this extra real estate on my screen. Uh, and then disappointingly, oh, not one year later, maybe six, seven months later, uh, in a period of what seemed, it almost felt like overnight, um, um, probably a month span, my eyes had deteriorated, and I just struggled to read the default size text uh, when the monitor was set to 4K, so um, sadly I've had to drop the resolution down here, 2560 by 1440. Yeah, so um, I could still go 4K monitor. I would love to, but I'm going to need a physically larger um, screen if I'm if I'm going to be able to read anything. But anyway, uh, look after your eyes is all I can say. Right, the Dell screen, there it is there. Um, in brackets here, if you're focused on there, it's got DP-1 in brackets. If we go across to the left, HDMI-1 in brackets. Uh, that Those are the identifiers for the monitor, um, but I'm not going to trust those because we may switch um, Linux operating system uh, variant in the future. And there's no telling that we're going to have that information there. So I'm going to go off my notes. It's telling me to pull up a terminal. Let's do that. And it's telling me to enter in this command. X-R-A-N-D-R. -R. And we should be able to identify our monitors there. So we just look over here. I know that's the resolution of my touch screen. Uh, and there it is there, DP1. Okay, so that's the important information there. So for you guys watching, this is how you would identify your monitor. Look for it along the left here, there or there or wherever. It could say something else, of course. So we need that. Let's take a mental note of that. And then the next command, I'll just bring up a separate uh, terminal so we don't lose sight of that one there. Um, and we'll just punch in another command here, which is X input and a switch list. All right, now what we're looking for here is the touch control, and I can see it there. There it is, there. So with those two bits of information, again, it might be different for you guys. There's no telling what monitor you have purchased. Uh, or computer or touch controller you're using. Anyway, that, those are the information we need. Um, so let's just bring up a text editor. I'm going to use Kate. Uh, you can use what you like. Kate, there it is. Where are you? Starting up somewhere. Oh, there it is. 
Right, so there's our text editor there, and we'll just use that to take some notes. And my command here is x set wacom. And then we use a set command, and then in our quotations, um, we need to put our touch controller. So you look for your touch controller, get a copy of it, and paste it in there. Let's close that with quotations. And then we need to say map to output all right and then after that we enter in the display in question which is the touch screen which is this one here dp-1 okay let's do a right click and paste that so that's our command there in full um, now the reason i like to put things in a text editor is you know, we can always come back here and copy and paste and not type everything repeatedly over and over. So we should be able to grab a copy of that entire string there and paste it back in our terminal. Oop. Right click, paste and enter. No errors and hopefully that has now remapped the controller to the screen. Now I'm going to have to do some uh, video editing here so that you can see this um, because you're not going to be able to see my finger obviously unless I get another camera onto the subject so just just hold it there for a minute all right so I'm just shooting this on my uh, phone here and let's move across to the touch screen and um, here's my finger here and so we have remapped everything and it's responding to my finger and moving the cursor precisely where we put the finger oops all right so that's working just fine let's save that and move on okay back to our screencast here this is our text editor that we were putting our command in as a basically notes but what we're going to do is let's remove all the white space out of there let's save that but when we save it we're actually going to save it as a script file so let's give that a name remap touch screen sorry remap touch controller to Dell screen okay let's save that wait where are we going to save it to let's find somewhere uh, I've got some folder somewhere where I save boots boot scripts where are I it starts with L. Yeah, there it is, Linux boot scripts. Um, it's going to be a script, so let's end that in SH. Remap touch controller to Dell screen. Let's save that. I saw another one in there. It's alright, we're not going to use that one. Should be able to close that now. And let's close that. We don't need that anymore. We don't need that do we need a terminal probably not let's get rid of that and we've got the information information we need from there let's get rid of that now let's bring up our startup application um, yes yeah, so this little application uh, we can launch it brings up this sort of interface and we can um, uh, yeah, I, I didn't explain, did I? Um, so we entered a command that remapped the controller to the uh, screen. Um, but the problem is when we turn the computer off and then turn it back on, 
it's going to lose that mapping so we need to enter that command again now i don't really want to be punching that command in every time i turn the computer on um, i'm not one of these people that leaves the computers on um, day and night i like to turn my gear off so what we need to do is fire that um, uh, script automatically when the computer starts so what we're going to do is um, what, what I suggest you do is bring up your um, you know your interface for launching apps and just search for something called startup or you know startup that's mine there there's many many different uh, variants of this sort of interface software on all these Linux operating systems. If you don't have one, uh, you know, install one. Um, for me, it's in this Discover and many other Linux distributions. Discover is called something else, something like Software Manager or Software Center or something like that. Um, just search for some such software that will do the same thing. It'll be a lot easier for you. So for me, it's this auto start. Now I'm going to add a script file. So let's click the add script button. Uh, let's browse for my script. Let's hit that icon there. And let's go looking for my script, which is the remap touch controller to Dell screen. Let's highlight that. All right. Let's leave that as some link. Click OK. And... Uh, Status is enabled. Let's just stretch this out so I can read it in full. Yep, that's definitely our script. Run on startup. And I think that's it. I'm just going to close it. I notice there's no save button. I'm going to close it and bring it back up just to ensure that it is remembering that, which it is. And let's close that. And um, I'm just going to touch the screen with my right hand uh, on the touch screen. And yep, that's still working. That's me making a sort of a triangular pattern. Um, so that's still working. So what we need to do now, reboot the computer. Let's just save some of my work here. Otherwise, we're going to lose everything. Okay, well, I'm back. Uh, computer has reboot and it didn't work. And it didn't work because I forgot to make that uh, script executable. Um, yeah, so <laughs> let's do that now. Um, we're going to go GUI this time and use our GUI system. Uh, there it is there. Okay, right click properties, permissions is executable. Let's give that a check there. All right, let's reboot again. All right, we're back. We have rebooted and again, it's still not working. So um, uh, I think I know what it is. Um, let's bring up Explorer. Oops. And um, Let's go to that script file. Uh, there it is. There. Let's open that for editing. And we need the um, shebang. I don't know what you call it. Um, we need this. Uh, all right, we just need that in our first line. Um, that should tell the system to execute from a shell. I think that's what that does. Um, yeah, I've I've managed to run scripts without this in the past, um, but I'm pretty sure we need it this time around. Now I know that I've been doing that uh, in the past some, some I don't know, two, three years ago without that. But anyway, I'm pretty sure that's 
the issue there. Let's save that and let's reboot again. And we'll be back one more time. All right, third time round, we've rebooted again, and uh, I'm happy to say that we've got success. Um, I'm touching the screen now. Um, let's just come back to my main screen here and let's fire up a app. Now, what did I call that app? Okay. This one here, I think it is. Let's fire that up. Let's bring this over to the touch screen. Let's um, set up our page and let's make this a little bit bigger. Uh, I'm just going to pause here. I've got my alarm going. I'm trying to win an auction online. Um, trying to get an action camera. So I'll be back. I've got 30, 30 more minutes before the auction closes. It's just box on here. All right. Here's our page. Let's tilt the screen flat-ish like a piece of paper. I've got my stylus.